Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video we'll be discussing another topic in pre-calculus and it is about conversion of radian to degree and vice versa. So it's about unit of angles. So we have two units of angles. It could be in the unit of radian or it could be in the unit of degree. Basically, kapag radian, ang ginagamit na unit ay itong pi. Pag degree naman, kunyari meron tayo 180, ang degrees ang degree unit ay ganito. Parang naka-superscript na zero. Okay? So ngayon, meron tayong formula na ginagamit. Mabilis natin topic na to. For the degree to radian, if the given is degree, then you need to convert it into radian unit. Ang gagawin nyo lang is to copy the given degree and then multiply it by pi over 180 degrees. Okay? We all know that the value of pi is equal to 3.14 approximately. But we will not be using this value. As is lang yung pi na yan. Then if the unit of the given angle is radian and you need to convert it into, de de into degree, you just have to multiply it by 180 degrees divided by the pi. Okay? So for example, Convert the following given angles to degrees or radian. It depends upon the given. So number one, we have the given 270 degrees. So we need to convert it into radian. Okay, how? Using the formula. So we have degree to radian formula. This one, we'll, we'll be using this. So given degree is 270. Then multiply to pi over 180. So the answer would be, so, para mas madali, ang gagawin nyo lang, divide nyo lang itong dalawa. 270 tsaka yung 180. Okay? Divide natin using our calculator. 270 divided by 180. So, that is equal to 3 over 2. So, lagyan natin 3. Sorry. 3 over 2. Then, we just have to put the pi. So, this will be our final answer. This could also be written as 3 pi over 2 or 1.5 pi. They are all the same. Okay. Next, we have the second example. 2 pi. So, basically, it is in the unit of radian converted into degree naman. So, second formula gagamin natin. The radian to degree formula. So, write the radian 2 pi then multiply it by 180 over pi. And then, dito, ang nangyayari, mumultiply natin 2 pi dito sa 180. So, 2 pi times 180, that is equal to 360 pi over pi. Okay? Minultiply ko itong dalawang values, 2 pi tsaka 180, naging 360 pi. Then, yung ilalim dito, Kinapi ko lang dito sa denominator natin. Okay? So, ngayon, kakancel lang natin to. That is equal to 360 degrees. Then, 360 degrees is equal to 1 revolution. Sa angle measurement natin. So, 2 pi is 1 revolution din. Ito nga lang ay naka unit. Ito naman ay naka degree unit. Next, number 3. 5 pi over 4. So basically, kapag may pi, that is radian, convert it into degree. So formula natin ay radian to degree. So copy natin 5 pi over 4. Then multiply it by 180 degrees over pi. So multiply lang natin numerator by numerator. 5 pi times 180. So, huwag nyo nang ilagay yung pi sa calculator. Yung 5 lang. Then, times 180. That is equal to 900. So, we have here 900. nine hundred Then, copy natin yung pi sa taas. Over 4 pi. Pagtabihin nyo lang yan. Then, cancel out yung pi. So, we have now 900 over Simplify lang natin sa calculator. 900 over 4. Ito lang, naglag tayo. 
So, ulitin natin. Just press it in your calculator. 900 over 4. So, lagyan dito. 900 over 4. That is equal to, so ito magiging 450 over 2 na lang. Okay, then pwede pa ito i-simplify eh. 450, sorry, 450 that is equal to 225 over 2. Then lagay natin degrees. Okay. Pwede mo i-gawing decimal yan, 225 over 2. Or pwede mo naman lagay tayo 900 divided by 4. And divided by 4. That is equal to uh, 225. Eh, sorry, hindi na pala to over 2. 225 na lang. So that is equal to 225. Puray natin to. Okay, 225 degrees na lang pala yan. Ang sagot. So, lagay lang natin 225 degrees. Okay, yan na pala yung final answer. Hindi na pala kailangan i-lowest term. Because 900 over 4 is 225. Nilowest term ko kasi dito, ginawa kong 450 over 2. Then, that is equal to 225 degrees. Next, let's have number 4. 420 degrees. So, this is the unit degrees, then convert it into radian. So, formula natin, 420 degrees, multiply lang natin sa pi over 180. So, divide nyo lang yan, 420 divided by 100. Kasi magiging ganito yan, 420 pi over 180. Then, lowest term nyo lang yung dalawa, 420 over 180. So that is. Wait, then let's calculate it. Okay. <coughs> so 420 over 180. So pag ni lowest term, that is 7 over 3. So that is equal to 7 pi over 3. That's it. Next, number 5, 180 degrees. So, convert natin into radian. So, times pi over 180 degrees. Then, ito, pag parehas, pwede nyo na-cancel. So, the answer would be just pi. Okay, half of the revolution. Okay, next, number 6, pi over 2. So, pi over 2, unit niyan ay radian. So, convert natin into degrees. Multiply lang natin ang 180 over pi. Yan ang formula natin. Then, may pi dito sa taas. May pi din sa baba. Cancel natin. So, magiging 180 yung matitira sa taas over 2. That is equal to 90 degrees. Then, that's it. So, it's very easy. You just have to follow the formula for the degree to radian and radian to degree. I hope that you understood the lesson. So see you on my next video.